We have to commit ourselves, our lives, unto God. Hezekiah began his reign when he was 5 and 20 years old, and he reigned 9 and 20 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Abiah, the daughter of Zechariah, when he was 25. And we get 30 and say, I'm waiting on the Lord. 35, I'm still waiting on the Lord. 40, I'm waiting on God. 45, God hadn't spoken yet. 50, I'll pray about it. 25, he took over. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord according to all that David, his father, had done. David, he looked back, he looked back at his day. Mm. <laughs> and he went all the way back to David, what David had done. I refused to do what my father did. I've seen a better example, and I'm going to follow the better example. He yes, <laughs> said, he could have easily did what his father did and continued the practices of keeping God's house closed. Lack of prayer, lack of seeking him, lack of worship, lack of praise. He could have easily said, you know, this is who I am. We've always done it this way. This is what I know. Many of us hold back on that. I've always been like this. Wow. My mama did it like this. My daddy did it like this. My old pastor did it like this. My, my, my. But we know it's wrong. And we won't dare shift from it to what we know is right. Because we don't want the people to fight against us. So we'll hold our peace and continue in wrong because of the folks and what folk will say. But remember, you were chosen to make a difference, not to be a part of the same. You were called to advance the kingdom of heaven in the earth. Not to keep pressing the earth forward. Oh my God. My, my, my. Mm -hmm. But so often we forget. Next verse. He in the first year of his reign, in the first month, opened the doors of the house of the Lord and prepared them. Going against the status quo, going against what was going on. They've been doing it for years, but he's fighting it. He was bold enough okay. to commit himself to change. Back to what God would have it be. Mm. And he brought in the priests and the Levites and gathered them together in the east street, which was the priest's area. And he said unto them, Hear me. Ye Levites, sanctify now yourselves and sanctify the house of the Lord God of your fathers and carry forth the filthiness out of the holy place. Let's hold it. He called in the leaders and he had to remind them who they were. He said, what we need to do is we need to come in, we need to first clean ourselves up, then we need to clean up God's house. You can't clean up God's house with your messed up self. So clean yourself up first. <laughs> then come in. Because see, if I try to clean up God's house with my filthy self, all I'm going to do is spread more filth. Yes. It's like getting a wet rag trying to clean up oil. And all I do is smear it. Yes. And make it worse than what it really was. But I said I cleaned it. 
So I have to be clean first. Mm -hmm. And then I can come in and clean out the filth out of God's house. But nobody wants to think they have issues and problems. <laughs> no one wants to think they're dirty. Mm -hmm. And anything about them is dirty. Not even their attitude. Mm -hmm. Not even their disposition. Nobody wants to feel I'm dirty. I like the way I am. But you're the only one who likes the way you are. But we never consider that. I just do me. And that's the problem. You've been so selfish so long that it's all about you. It's all about you. God can't get a way in anywhere because it's about you. You're so busy doing you you can't do God, and God can't do you because what you blocked Him out to just do you. Come on, sir. You so you can't receive counsel wow. because you're so busy doing you. Oh, that's good. This is who I am. This is the way I've always been. But that don't make you right. That's right. That's right. Not when you measure yourself by the Word of God. There's a way that seems right unto a man. Yeah. But in the end. Yeah. Next verse. For our fathers have trespassed and done that which is wicked and evil, done that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord God, and have forsaken him, and have turned away their faces from the habitation of the Lord, and turned their back. Not only turned their faces, but they turned their backs on the house of God. Also, they have shut the doors of the porch and put out the lamp. My God, they even turned the lights out. And have put, excuse me, have not burned incense nor offered burnt offerings into the, in the holy place unto the God of Israel. Just gave up everything. Just quit. Basically, let me give you an understanding of where it would be like we are now. We didn't shut down the temple. But sometimes the word is shut down. Mm -hmm. We'll shut down the joy in the house. Mm -hmm. We'll shut down the peace in the house. Yes, Lord. It'll become another social club mm -hmm. run by the people. Dead. Dry. Barren. No light whatsoever. No God to be found. Just people going through religious activity. And some, some people like just religious activity. Because it takes no commitment. Yes. It takes no cleaning up. All I have to do is put my best suit on. And my church face. And everyone receives me. But if they knew what was on behind the man. Wherefore the wrath of God, the wrath of the Lord, was upon Judah and Jerusalem. And he had <coughs> delivered them to trouble, to astonishment, and to hissing. As you see with your eyes, you can see the issues and the problems. You know what's going on. You hear the word on the street. It's not news to you, but you're overlooking it. You're ignoring it. You act like it is not there. But you know it's there. You know deep down inside the truth. But since you're so busy being you and doing you, nobody's opinion matters. It doesn't matter what folks say. It just doesn't matter. Because I'm going to be mean no matter what. My mind is made up. Nobody can change me. I'm grown. Mm. I do my own thing. Mm -hmm. For lo, our fathers have fallen by the sword, and our sons and our daughters and our wives are in captivity mm. for this. You still going through life and your family falling apart. You're acting like nothing's wrong. But 
Even the dog don't look at you no more. <laughs> the cat runs and hides when they even turn the doorknob. But yet all is well. Finances on lockdown. No matter how much money you make, you bring it in plenty, but it's never enough. Bills are piled up. We're months behind. Now we're going to figure out who we're going to pay and who's not going to get paid this month. But when you look at your check, you know it's more than enough to handle your bills. And you can't figure out what's happening. Mm. Woo! Now it is in my heart to make a covenant with the Lord God of Israel that his fierce wrath may turn away from us. Yes. I'm taking it upon myself to go to God. But I can't do it by myself. So what I need is all of you to clean yourself up Clean up the house of God so he'll, we can show that we are trying mm -hmm. and we are turning and we are shifting. I can't do it alone because I'm not coming on behalf of myself. Yeah. I'm coming on behalf of the church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you're going to be a beneficiary of the shifting and the changing, you have to make some shifts and change also. Amen. Can't leave it all on the pause. Mm -mm. Can't leave it all on his back. We've done that for too long. He's praying, <laughs> sleepless nights, weary, worn, and we're sleeping comfortably. Mm -hmm. Struggling. Fighting. And we're at peace. Mm -hmm. And then the next day we hug. But what are we going to do now, Pastor? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. You're right. Well, he'll come back and say, we need to pray. But five people will show up. Come on now. Because see, that's not what you wanted to hear. You didn't want to hear that. You didn't want to hear the truth. You wanted to hear something that sounded good, that was comfortable for Come you, on now. where you are. Yeah. And to bring you out of your comfort zone is a no-no. I get my nails done at that time. <laughs> what? The ball? The ball? Okay. Man, we'll play. What? Man, we're playing at that time. Uh, that ain't gonna happen. But you want the change. Yeah, that's right. But you care about the cares of this life. Come on now. More than the spiritual change that you need. Wow. You can't have it both ways. Yeah, yeah. Either I love the Lord or I don't. Come on now. Either I want a spiritual shift or I don't. Yeah, yeah. But I can't get it the way I want it. I've got to get it God's way. Yeah. It's God that makes the rules. Yeah. <laughs> he said it's in my heart mm -hmm. to make a covenant with the Lord. That he will turn away his wrath from us. That should have brought something up in you right then. Wow. Because if your leader you see, I'm going to make this bold move to God on our behalf that it gets better for all of us. For your home as well as my home. That increase can come to you and come to me. See, I'm not in this trying to get something for myself. I'm trying to get something to you too. So when I say let's pray and your family's not represented, Just, just pray for me. I couldn't make it. Uh, come on now. You couldn't make it live, Mom. 
You can 